You see, during Jim Crow, during Jim Crow, the Black family was together. That's right. During Jim Crow, more Black people were not just conservative, because Black people always have been conservative-minded, but more Black people voted conservatively. And then H-E-W, Lyndon Johnson, and then you go down that road, and now we are where we are. What's happened in the and then you go down the road where we are today, which is to say he's a congressman, a federally elected congressman. And he's not in his own chamber, a blacks only chamber, which is what Jim Crow was, which is what he is celebrating. I can only assume Byron Donaldson saw this picture of Madison, the cousin, the cousin face humper, and the jealousy just took over inside of him. And you know, I've always wondered about the self-esteem in a black Republican, especially a MAGA black Republican, especially a MAGA black Republican that came up in the Tea Party. And I think Donaldson states it perfect here because the truth is MAGA will never put someone that looks like him at the top of a ticket. Not today, not in 40 years. The best he could do is subscribe to their ideology, even if it means, you know, embracing Jim Crow. Now, not to besmirch the character of the guy who was caught fabricating evidence about Hunter Biden and then AOC busted him. You guys remember that? That screenshot of what appeared to be a text message was a fabricated image. It busted. was a fabricated image. <laughs> I don't know where it came really from. I don't know that by if my it was the staff of the committee. I don't but think it was so, Byron. Sorry, AOC. This episode is not about besmirching the character besmirching the Photoshop skills of this convicted drug dealer. And I learned something today that I didn't know before. Apparently Republicans love black drug dealers. I mean, not when they move into their neighborhood, but when they call to reinstate Jim Crow and not to besmirch the character of Byron, of Byron Donalds here. Not to besmirch the character of a guy whose senior political advisor has charges of armed robbery aggravated battery, and child molestation. There was a time in American politics when a misplaced woo could end your entire career. <laughs> now this party argues that 34 felonies, having found guilty of 34 felonies, will actually make you a more viable candidate. No joke. Where people like this are hired and kept on to give, you know, Republican congressman advice. There were a lot of people who heard what you had to say, and a lot of them are offended by the idea that you would repeat Jim Crow three times in your comments as if to suggest that that was a time period because that black families were, in your words, together, because, in your words, black people were not just more conservative, uh, they voted more conservatively that's a good thing. I mean, it sounds like nostalgia. Do you regret using that the answer he should time say frame yes, as I a reference? It. Nobody ever made nostalgia. That was never the point. It wasn't even about that. So where the answer now, was yes, I'm I regret my it. back up is I didn't say that. I didn't even insinuate that. That is where it. the media and the yes, Hakeem Jeffries and, and, and a lot of other people are taking what, what exactly didn't you insinuate? No, 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 no. I'm just so trying just to understand wanna, what you're saying. You, what didn't, what the didn't premise you of your, insinuate? The premise of your question, I did not insinuate. He that is it. what people are trying to weave into what I said. Go ahead and rewind back to the first. Rewatch it. See if he didn't insinuate that. Seems like a pretty softball question, right? All you have to say is, no, I don't think Jim Crow was a better time for black families. But Donald's is a guy who gained his popularity with the Tea Party. That's what he came up from. You know, these guys and a giant chunk of the white supremacist portion that now makes up MAGA are the outgrowth of people that used to be in the Tea Party. Donaldson's role back then, and obviously his role still today, is to let people like this point at him and say, see, that's one of the good ones. He didn't get into Congress to craft legislation. He got into Congress to grift exploitation. He's like Candace Owens, but somehow worse at it. I, I just want to, I mean, just so to clarify what? my questioning of you. Sure. I mean, I, I understand that um, this idea that you said it was better, you didn't use the words better, 
But when you talk not. about when you talk about that time period, you're 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 suggesting that because the black family was together, they were better off than they are now. See, this is the problem, Abby. So are I so are they? So are you saying that, that that's not the Abby, case? That the, the, video, the black family was not better no, off that's, I did when not they say were, that. in your Abby. words, together. Abby, in, let me let me put it like Jim this: Crow era. Let's agree on something. I am, you know, obviously one of the better communicators in the Republican Party. I know how to put words together. I do it very, very often. So I'm not going to say something that I do not agree with. What America is seeing right now, especially black America, is the gaslighting that unfortunately does happen in politics, where you take my comments and you want to weave your own political viewpoint well, into what I said. I also, what like, I said is very I clear. Asked you to you I know how to put words together, so I'm not going to say something I agree with. I put words together every day. Congratulations. Welcome to... First and foremost, saying you're a great communicator in the Republican Party is definitely not the flex that Donald's thinks it is. We're all super impressed that you have better communication skills than the Beetlejuice Stroker. Or, you know, the early exhibit of man. Very impressive. And second, there is no denial. In this case, denial is still just only a river in Egypt. But the idea of romanticizing and being nostalgic about being better off during Jim Crow is confounding to me. Well, it is, is, is not factual. You know, it's interesting, as you quoted Congressman Benny Thompson, if you look at the, the South, African-Americans did not get elected to Congress in whole until after the 1990 redistricting cycle. That was over 14 years and multiple trips to the Supreme Court just to break the back of Jim Crow laws and how congressional lines were drawn. And that's across the South, in Up Florida, in, in Mississippi, in Texas. Black if you look at the class of 1992 is when you see an increase of members of the Congressional Black that Caucus because they had to overcome the remnants of Jim Crow laws. And so for him, who a member of Congress not to understand the history that put him in his seat to try to align a a narrative that's misinformation so he could be a VP is not only disingenuous it's 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 it's, 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 <laughs> it's unfortunate I was going to use another word but it's unfortunate well you have intellect I would have liked to hear that other word I only really disagree with one point he said and that's that Donald's doesn't understand the history that allowed him to be in that seat I think that's letting him off the hook. I think he perfectly understands the history that put him in that seat. But right now, he knows in Florida, if he's going to keep that seat, that history comes into play. And he has to act this way now because he understands the climate of it. Which honestly is headed to, maybe is already there, a lot like the climate back in Jim Crow. And Donald's exploiting what little piece of his character's left. He actually wasn't alone today on Capitol Hill. Nicole, you got a chance to catch up with 50 Cent. What did 50 have to say? <laughs> what did 50 have to say? How is this not proof that we are all living in a simulation right now? Real life has literally become... We got Ja Rule on the phone. Let's see what Ja's thoughts are on this tragedy. Who gives a Ja Rule thanks at a time like this? That's where we are right now. So let's see what another famous drug dealer, you know, a great rapper, and I would say better at putting words together than Donald's. Let's see what 50 Cent has to say about the presidential election. We're all waiting. We're all waiting. As the saying goes, as goes 50 Cent, so does the country. To another election. So who have you made a decision sure what, about who you're going to I'm not support? sure how to answer that, that question. Have you made a decision? I haven't. What do you think, see as the significance of African American men in this election? Thank you, everybody. For both of you. I see them identifying with Trump. Why do you say that? Because they got RICO charges. RICO charges. Right? What is it with this messaging that black people in this country are only turned on by crime? Like, that's their number one issue. 50 Cent was on Capitol Hill today kissing everybody's ass because he's trying to get some law passed that'll help him with his alcohol company. I don't know. But what 50 Cent is showing, what Donald's is showing, if you want power within the Republican Party, if you want power within the MAGA Party, if you want something from them, the price for that power is becoming a character of their stereotypes, a mouthpiece for their white nationalist talking points.
I truly hope the name of 50 Cent's alcohol is exploitation. Because that's the only taste it's going to leave in your mouth. Let's get back to Donald's, right? Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. This clearly unbesmirched, genuine criminal who who's terrible at Photoshop, but can put words together. And if you're actually going to compare economic policies and public policies yeah, between the 45th president and the 46th president, it's without question they were better under the 45th. Well, look, I mean, so if you're going to examine today, the hold on, but Abby, if you're going to examine lowest, today in America and again, where I'm we're going as Americans, the, I'm then you, you have to the have facts, the right set of economic policies and the, the right set of public policies. I mean, Abby, you've been interrupting me the entire interview. I'm going to interrupt you on the facts, Congressman. The black unemployment rate sure, was the ahead. lowest in American history under Joe Biden la just last year. The poverty rate for black people is oh, the lowest under Joe Biden. So you can. You're a congressman. You didn't know that? Abby came loaded with the facts. Donald's came loaded with the vibes, right? But maybe the one true statement that Byron made this whole interview was this right here. What America is seeing right now, especially black America, is the gaslighting that unfortunately does happen in politics. The gaslighting that unfortunately happens in politics. I couldn't agree with you more. If you like this video, if you like content like this, make sure you hit that up vote. Keep us in that good algorithm. If it's your first time here, you think you might like other stuff like this, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you to all the members. Thank you for all the current subscribers. Thank you to all the OGs. The Chud Report. You see, during Jim Crow, yeah, during Jim Crow, the Black family was together.